Hi friends, now we will move to our new topic and that's very also very interesting that what is the reference on neutral voltages and uh, concept of potential difference again as uh, when we discuss the neutral voltages and what will happen if neutral voltages are raised or increased. So let's go to our blackboard here. So if you want to explain the neutral voltages, let me explain a system here. A three phases let us see if, let's discuss a three phase system let's draw a three phase power supply so for example this is a three phase power supply which is supplying a uh, three phase voltages and a neutral which is grounded solidly for example okay and this is basically phase A and the supply voltage here for example is equal to 220 volts uh, or 380 volts line voltages 380 volts okay and this is phase A of as red phase yellow phase and blue phase and if you draw the vector diagram this is 380 380 380 so 380 then phase to ground voltage will be equal to 380 divided by 1.732 200 let's say 220 volts this is line to line slash line to neutral 220 volts so what are here the line to line voltages now if you put a voltmeter if you take a voltmeter if you measure the voltages between any two phases these are called line to line voltages and if you measure a voltage between uh, any phase with respect to ground it's called as a phase voltage or phase to ground voltages okay this is the phase voltage and this is the line voltages okay if you may uh, uh, you, you can see this is a ground point and ground point potential is at zero so potential of ground at zero volts potential of this conductor blue phase or each phase is 220 volts so if you measure potential of blue phase with which is at 220 volt with respect to zero volt so potential difference will be equal to or voltage or potential difference will be equal to 220 volts and it will call as phase to ground voltages okay now if uh, using the same philosophy if we measure the voltage between red and yellow okay the red red it at the potential of 220 and yellow is also at the potential of 220 so vr is at the potential of 220 with respect to neutral or earth the phase voltages okay and yellow is also at 220 so the question is if we put a multimeter or voltmeter cross red and zero why we are getting 380 so this is the question because both have the same voltages it uh, ideally it should be zero but the reason behind is this one that these are not scalar quantities these are vector quantities so let me show you here these are basically you can draw a vector so this is red this is yellow and here you can see it's blue each is 120 degree apart so this is red and they are moving anti-clockwise these are basically phasors this is red this is yellow this is blue now 
if you measure the pot this is uh, potential of red phase with respect to ground this neutral point of the generator and this is grounded effectively grounded okay and it mean the neutral point is grounded effectively what does it mean it mean that this is at zero potential so there is no potential at ground so it is at zero potential and you can see this red phase to ground and this is at 220 volt so if you measure the potential of red phase to ground is 220 volts now if you connect a voltmeter between red and yellow so one point it at potential of 220 but at the angle of 120 degrees another point is at potential of 220 but at the angle of 0 degrees for example and the potential difference between these two points will be equal to like this a phasor diagram phasor uh, vector sum of red and yellow so if you add red if you use i if you if how you can add the vectors you have to use head to tail rule you have to add the if you have to add the tail you have to connect the head of another vector and then you will get this vector sum so if you know that i line which is the voltage between any two phases equal to 1.732 times so this is basically the example of uh, the phase voltages okay so this is the relationship between phase and line voltages so let's see another example now just uh, assume that neutral of the generator is not grounded okay a neutral of the generator is not grounded or you can see or the neutral point this is the basically ground and this is for example red yellow blue so let's see what will happen if okay this is uh, the uh, neutral of the generator and what will happen this is the neutral this is the phase red and this is the neutral point at the at the moment this is zero and this is blue so when the system is is running balance all voltages are same the voltage at neutral will be zero okay and if you measure the voltage between for example here this is uh, each conductor is 380 line to line by 220 this is basically the case when we have everything is healthy balance everything is fine so now consider that for example the at this case this is red this is yellow this is blue just uh, we will consider the case now in this case uh, for example the red phase conductor is broken down and it is solidly connected to the neutral so what is the meaning of this it mean now the neutral is not at zero potential and now neutral is supplied with full red phase potential so this neutral point is now shifted from this point to this point okay now neutral potential is raised from zero to this level so now neutral is already at 220 volt at the angle of 0 degrees okay if you if you if you want to know the potential of neutral is this much now if you connect a voltmeter now it means the potential of neutral has increased or rise because the red phase is broken down it is solidly connected to the neutral because of a fault now in this case if you measure the voltage between blue phase and the neutral okay because previously neutral was here 
because and because of the fault it is shifted from this point to this point now if you connect the voltmeter between yellow to neutral now neutral is shifted it will not will not be here so it's shifted if you connect then you will get this much voltages if you use the head to tail rule you you have to shift the red here because it's all moved here so you will get this much voltages which is kind of line voltages so here if you measure it you will get full 380 volts okay because neutral point is shifted to full phase value so you will get full 380 volts if you now measure the voltage between yellow to ground again you will get full 380 volts but if you measure the voltage between red face to ground what you will get what do you guess this is the ratio of voltage ground is already shifted or uh, the ground voltage again uh, rising to this red face the voltage between red face and the neutral will equal to v r to neutral or v r equal to zero volts here so this is a very nice example that I have told you that how this uh, neutral voltages concept of neutral voltage kind of concept of phase to ground voltages and what will happen if the neutral voltage shift so this is a very nice example if we take let's see now another example okay so let's see if we have a source here again okay and we are getting a supply okay this is like 100 volts oh okay this is like 100 volts okay so this is uh, one resistance this is another resistance in series this is one ohm this is also one ohm okay so if i measure if i have a resistance here for example 1 10 100 ohms so my question is how much we will if you connect a voltmeter how much will be the voltage appearing across it so this is a question so if i connect a voltmeter here what how much will be the voltages okay here in this case 50 ampere will be flowing and the voltage drop across it will be 50 volts and here also 50 volts and again here you can see 50 ampere are flowing there is no current flowing here so full voltage will appear voltmeter will see the reading of 100 volts here okay uh, if I uh, measure the vol uh, voltage between this point and this point here so how much uh, voltage I can find what do you think it will be again 50 volts because this point you add potential of 50 and this point again at zero potential so you will get the 50 volts again so uh, this is basically some concept uh, of a single phase system how it works so let's now draw a three phase system again three phase AC system just for a better understanding so this is a basically three phase system where we have three conductors A, B and C. This is red phase, this is yellow phase, this is blue phase and this is neutral. 
so the conductors are kind of you can see the vectors will be kind of like this red yellow and kind of blue so previously we have uh, seen example that if the red phase is uh, grounded solidly now we will see another example and in, in that case the neutral point was shifted from neutral to full red phase voltages so this is red this is yellow this is blue so now we will consider for example if the red phase here is not solidly grounded but it is grounded with some resistance so as much as will be the resistance only that much neutral will be shifted for example okay so neutral here you can say just see example there is some voltage drop across resistance and the remaining voltages for example here this is 2, 3, it was 380 by 220 volts 380 by 220 volts okay and it is now grounded through some resistance and the voltage drop across the resistance is for example 20 volts only so the neutral point will shift it from 0 to 20 volts now because uh, voltage drop across the resistors for example are 200 volts okay so the remaining voltage that appear on the neutral are 20 volts now neutral is at the potential of 20 volts now so neutral is at the potential of 20 volts so neutral is increased so now if you measure the voltage between red phase to neutral okay so you will get the reading in the voltmeter as 20 volts which is basically the voltage across across the impedance which is grounding the red phase and now if you measure the voltage between neutral and yellow you will not get basically 380 but slightly more voltages you can see here uh, you will not get a 220 or uh, you will not get 220 or 380 but slight uh, slightly Mm, less or uh, slightly more voltages uh, you can see this much between yellow and red so the voltage on the yellow will be greater than 220 volts you have to do the calculations and voltage on the blue also will be greater than 220 volts okay and if you measure the voltage between red and yellow okay so it will be basically the same voltages line voltage will not be disturbed in this case because both are at 380 volts okay but phase to ground voltage will be different uh, will be different so this was example of uh, shifting of neutral neutral voltage phase voltage phase to phase and phase to line voltages I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Thank you very much.